So 2016 has been a breakout year in terms of price records, sales transactions, and of course, insatiable demand for condos and houses here in Toronto. We're already up 17% in terms of price appreciation compared to last year, with another month still to count for our final year's tally. So far, by the end of November, we've already bought and sold over 6,000 more homes compared to last year. And I'm projecting by year's end, we'll be up about 10 to 11,000 more transactions this year than we did last year. But the scary thing is that that number could have been a whole lot higher if we actually had more homes to sell. It's been an interesting and crazy year for me and for the city of Toronto, as many new and young home buyers are trying to squeeze their way into the market, no matter what it costs them. Because they all know it's not getting any cheaper or any easier and many buyers are starting to realize that they're definitely not able to get the home that they originally wanted or intended based on their budget of course what we also saw this year was tighter mortgage and lending rules implemented by the federal government to try to rein in prices and force new and young home buyers to reevaluate their financial situation and not stress themselves too much financially hence the stress test. And the side effect of this is it's forcing people to be a little bit more humble, a little bit more realistic in terms of what they can actually afford and just get into something, anything as a starter home, such as a condo or a townhouse, rather than stretching and shooting for the moon and getting a detached house. It's a good thing if you ask me. And with ground shaking moves out west made in BC to try to slow down the foreign demand for real estate in Vancouver, it's made Toronto a whole lot more attractive for many foreign investors and even immigrants who have decided to move to Canada because of course as we all know you get more bang for your buck here and you definitely don't have to pay that extra 15% foreign buyers tax and of course we've got a more stable economic environment here in Toronto what we also saw this year is more and more local buyers going further and further away outside of the city to smaller cities such as Barrie or Oshawa because they can actually afford to buy a detached home with a decent size for around half a million dollars, or maybe even less than that, which was one of the factors that led to the provincial government offering extensions in Go Train service in the east all the way out to Bowmanville and out west all the way to the Niagara region. Of course, we don't know how much that's gonna cost and we don't know when it's actually gonna be completed. Let's be real here, hey guys? But this is all great news because it just shows the strength, the will, and the desire of Toronto and the GTA to grow into a mega force of a city, rightly so, where we are both growing up and growing out all at the same time. It's quite a feat, Toronto, I'm telling you, because there's not a lot of North American cities that can actually accomplish this with such scale, scope, and size. It's a true testament to the city's ambitions to grow into a mega global force of a city. I'm proud of you, Toronto. And if you're an investor or a home buyer in the next few months, you're definitely not going to want to miss my first video of 2017, which I plan to drop sometime next week, where I will discuss where I think the market is heading in 2017, where the opportunities lie to make money, and how I can help you make mucho dinero if you're planning on growing your portfolio, or if you're a home buyer, at least buying cheaper now than a few years later, where it's going to cost you probably more to do so. Because as we all know, this freight train that we call the Toronto and GTA real estate market is not slowing down anytime soon. So I hope you've all had a restful, cheerful, and Merry Christmas. And I wish all of you the best in the new year, whether you plan to buy or sell with me or not. But it's now time for me to get back to work. So I'll see you all in the new year, guys. Let's do it up big in 2017. Bring it! What they introduced was the stress test that forces what they introduced was the